Parshas Bo, uh, Perak Yud Pasuk Beis. Um, Torah says, Ulaman Tisapir Bo Zevincho Uven Bincho Eis Hashir Salalti B'Mitzrayim Veso Sasai Hashir Santi Vom V'yadatem Kiani Hashem So, uh, the mitzvah of uh, telling everything over to your son and your grandson and uh, and the Pasuk includes V'yadatem Kiani Hashem You'll know that I am Hashem so first of all, the uh, first question is, um, well, if you tell your son, and your son tells his son, so then your grandson will be told. So why does the Torah say, tell your son and your grandson? That means the grandson's going to hear it twice. He's going to hear it from you, he's going to hear it from his father, because the father also has to tell his son and his grandson. So it could be that, could be that the, the, the Torah expects everybody to hear it more than once. But uh, I saw one of the unfortunate says, um, that the Laman Sapir Bazay Bincho Ven Bincha means tell it over to your son in a way that will guarantee that your son tells it to his son. Meaning, that we're not just talking about telling something over, Sipur is here, the Sipur itself. We're talking about the entire conveying the entire value system of Yiddishkeit and Torah observance and the entire package. And uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, goals of parents is obviously going to be to want to have their children follow in their footsteps. So parents, if you expect to uh, have children follow in your footsteps, it has to be that you convey over the Torah and Torah observance in a way that is pleasant and in a way that is palatable. If parents come down on their kids too hard, obviously out of a concern that their kids should should be just perfect little tzaddik and who did nothing but talk Aramaic and learn Mishnahis all the time, then sometimes it could turn, not sometimes, almost all the time it will turn kids off. And therefore it has to be done in a way that you do it bozdei bincha, and then it will become uben bincha. So it is a mission in Pirkei Ovos that brings down the Pasuk in the sixth parak of Mishnah in Pirkei Ovos. It says, um, the Omer Ateris Zekenim Benevanim, the crown of the grandfather or his, or his grandchildren, the bonim avosa, the glory of the children, the pride of the children are their fathers. So it's a famous question that there's a lack of symmetry in the Mishnah because it says the crown of the elders, of the zakanim, of the grandparents, b'nei bonim are their grandchildren. That's their crown. The bonim, the pride of the sons, are their fathers. So it should either be that the both skip a generation. It should be the the the, the, the crowning achievement of grandparents, the, the crown of grandparents, are the grandchildren. And the pride of the grandchildren are the grandfathers, or it should be the son, the, the children. Why is there a, uh, the, uh, a, a a difference between the first part and the second part? And the answer is that when you're a grandfather, when you're a son, when you're a son, let's start that direction first. Uh, when you're a son, who do you take pride in? Sons take pride in their father. Now, my father is the Rashi Shiva. My father is rich. My father is a ball player. My father is whatever it is the father is. The son walks around bragging about his, it takes pride in his, fa- in, in, in his father. A grandfather, where is the crown of the grandfather? It's what he sees in his grandchildren. Because when children do what we tell them to do, or children follow in our footsteps, as long as children are under our control, so we have no way of knowing whether we've succeeded or not, because children often do what we want them to do because they're intimidated. But the... Uh, proof that we have succeeded in instilling the values and, and conveying the values to the next generation in the proper way is if we see our grandchildren doing what we want to do, that means our children are educating them the way they were educated. And they're conveying values to them the way that they absorb the values from us. That means that somehow, one way or another, in spite of ourselves, we succeeded in transmitting uh, to the values to our children in a way that's important enough for them to want to transmit it to their children. And therefore, the goal of the Torah is that Lebozne Bincho Ven Bincha means that you should do it the way that your kids want to transmit it to their kids, number one. Number two, um, and this is why it's always important for parents to serve as role models, and uh, to, you know, they asked Rebankov Kamenetsky once how he taught his children to make brachas. Rebankov says, I didn't teach my children how to make brachas. I, I made brachas, and my wife made brachas, and the kids saw us making brachas, so they made brachas. So if parents want to be successful in Yiddishkeit, Yiddishkeit has to be transmitted uh, in a pleasant, palatable manner, number one. Number two, um, the Torah says that v'yadatem ki ani Hashem is in the plural. You will know when you tell your children, you will know that I am Hashem. Now, hopefully you knew it before you told your kids. Uh, sometimes you find people 
He asked the guy, you know, Talmud, you know, who made your guy gets engaged? I said to Talmud, you know, who made your shidduch? And he says to me, it was Mamish Bashir, it was the Rebona Shalom. And my reaction was, well, thank you very much. I was an Apicurus until this point, and now you have enlightened me. Uh, don't forget, I'm the one who taught you that there's a God in the world, and it is socially unacceptable and rude when somebody asks you who made your shit up to tell me, give me a mustard drush, I'd show me what a man of the moon, a man of faith you were, considering the day before you met your your, your future wife. Uh, you were in tears. So so don't give me, you know, if I ask you who made your shit up, I don't know who the shotgun was. So, Vyadatam um, Kenya Hashem is really teaching us that when you will repeat it to your children, when you say it over, you reinforce it in yourself. That's why it's in the plural. If you adopt them, not only your children, not only your descendants will know it, you will know it also because it will be reinforced. That's why there's a din, two tabi to at the face of Seder. Because there's no one else around, they still have to say over you see as we see where it's trying, because by saying it over, you you yourself reinforce it. It becomes a, 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 a fulfillment of the adaptive.